Hey guys, it is Steph from Title Boxing Club in sunny Bitsford, and we've got our Boxing 30 class coming up here in just a second. But before we get moving, how are you doing? What's up? How you been? We missed you. Have we mentioned it? It's still true. Um, thanks for being with us, joining us on these video classes every day. Sometimes we have hundreds, sometimes we have a thousand people doing these classes every day, and we appreciate it. We appreciate every like, every comment, and every share. So keep it up, guys. That's currently our currency during this shutdown. So we appreciate you guys doing that and just, you know, playing along from home. Uh, we have 30 minute boxing class, like I said. We're going to do a simple little warm up, four rounds of boxing that are pretty straightforward, all very fun, I think. And then seven minutes of core at the end, and core is also pretty straightforward, but I threw in a few extra planks just for you, and you know who I'm talking to. Yep, it's you. So, let's get started here. Uh, let's go. All right, guys, we're gonna start off with a little jump rope in place. Simple stuff. Everybody likes the invisible jump rope. Jumping rope is a wonderful exercise. It's a good way to get the whole body moving. And warm it up. All right, so keep the wrists rolling. Stay on those toes, and you can get a little fancy if you want to. Mix it up, up to you. So just get that little hop in there. Nice bend in the knees. Keeping the chest open, the shoulders relaxed. And everything good. A couple more seconds here, and we're gonna take it into a reverse lunge, okay? We're gonna add, we're gonna start on one side, and we're gonna add a little kick in there. So let's go right leg first, three, two, and one. Big step back, kick. All right, back and kick. I think we did this a couple weeks ago, but it's nice to get that work in the leg and then stretch out that hamstring a little bit in the same exercise. Then we're gonna be here about five more seconds, and then we're gonna switch to that other leg. Here we go, three, two, and go. Go ahead and switch to the other side. Get that big kick, work that glute muscle, and stay with it. Keep going, guys, a couple seconds. And we're gonna go into a sumo squat. All right, big old sumo wide legs in three, two, and one. Get those toes pointed out, about a 45 degree angle. And then we just drop that back side nice and low. Good job, guys. Keep working on that sumo. We're gonna stay in this position. We're gonna hit that squat, but we're gonna add a jump in there. Let's go. Good. I actually really like this one. Where I did three months ago. Now it feels really tough. But pushing up, getting that little extra work on those calves as you get those toes involved with that jump. So stick with that one a couple more seconds. And then we're going to just do an easy peasy slide lunge on the left side. Three, two, and go. Step out, together. Step out, and together. Get that push. Off that leg, get that body weight to come back up, feet together in the center. Lunge together, lunge together. Good job, guys. We're here another couple seconds. And then switch into that other leg. Three, two, and go. Big lunge together, lunge together. Good. Keep it up. You gotta make both sides even. So we're here a little bit longer. We're gonna stick with the lunges. This time, going into that forward lunge. Three, two, and one. Alternating legs for me, okay? Step forward. Drop both knees into a nice bend. One knee going towards that floor. And stick with it. Couple seconds on the forward lunge. Keep working it out for me. And you can stay there if you want the lower impact version, or we're gonna turn it into a lunge jump. Three, two, and one. So we're just switching with the jump. And man, I'm going slow today. Keep working that jump for me. Stick with it. Couple seconds here. These are tough. Man, I think they've got them tough. A couple seconds, guys. And then we're gonna shake it off with that jump rope again. Three, two, and hit it. Good work. Jump it out. Same way we started, and we'll come back to this again as well. We're gonna go into fast feet. Three, two, and go. That's me. I always am super displeased with how I look doing fast feet on video. You guys all look awesome, don't worry about it. Keep it up, fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. And then we're just gonna start jumping again, side to side, lateral jump, three, two, and go. 
Put your hands on your hips if you like. Hold them up if you like, up to you. Just hoping, hopping, side to side, knees together. You can always make it a big step if you prefer. Either way, make sure you're getting that lateral movement, working the hips a little bit, getting that heart rate up. A couple seconds here, we're switching to the alley shuffle. So let's go. Open those legs up a little bit and shuffle it out. I want you to add in some arms. Open the arms, close the arms, open the arms, close. Kind of scissor it. Like to pull the elbow back. And then open, you're using both arms. Let's keep going, shuffle it out. And then we're gonna shake it off again with that jump rope. Three, two, go. Good job. A couple seconds on the jump rope just to shake everything out. Catch your breath a little. And then we're going into straight up jumping jacks. Three, two, and go. Regular old jack, guys. A couple seconds. All I want you to do is add on a double. One, two, three, four, and a big double on five. Ready, go. Big double jump. Not a double jump, a big star jump. I've forgotten terminology even. Keep jumping, jumping, jumping. Jumping jack, big old extra on number five. Couple seconds here, guys. And we're gonna get back to regular jumps. Not lateral, but forward and back. Three, two, and go. Good job, guys. Keep working. Hands on the hips if you like. You can keep them up if you prefer. Up to you. And then we're gonna go into a regular old squat in three, two, and one. Feet underneath those hips. Square with the shoulders. Drop that weight right behind you. Load that backside, guys. Drop that backside. Good job, guys. Nice and easy. Down to the ground. Less than one minute on this warm up. We're going to shake it off again with that jump rope. Three, two, and one. Good job, guys. Here's where we add that double. Like so. One, two, three, four, and five. We go up. Give it a little double. Just over five seconds. And then we're gonna go back to that squat. Three, two, go. Squat nice and easy. We're gonna add a, a jump or a calf raise up to you. Three, two, and go. Down to the squat, big jump, big jump, big jump. Good, or just lifting up on those toes with that calf raise off of that squat. Less than 10 seconds, guys, keep moving. Nice big squat, coming up nice and high. Three, two, one. Good job, everybody. Get a sip of water if you need it. Round one coming up. All right, round number one, we're gonna start off pretty easy. All it's gonna be is a jab, cross, jab, lead, uppercut. Now, it's not tricky, not a tricky combo, so you can think about your form. All right, so your hands are up right by that chin and those cheeks. Stay defensive the whole time. Jab, cross, jab, cross, uppercut. Now. Even that wasn't the prettiest, but big straight jab comes out to the front. Hips turn, shoulders turn. Got that little corkscrew on the end. Jab goes out, cross goes to the same spot. Turn the body to get that knuckle there. Jab, cross, jab, cross, lead uppercut. When you hit that lead uppercut, let's go. Make sure you're using those legs to do it. Dip down with those knees, push, and go right through that chin area. Jab, cross, jab, cross, lead uppercut. One, two, three, four, boom. Big boom on that upper, okay? Whew, keep it up, guys. Jab, cross, jab, cross, lead, upper cut. Straight down that line. Shh, shh. And then we're coming up. Hands are always going back to that defensive position so that when you're ready for that upper cut, all you gotta do is move those knees. Everything goes down with you, right in line. Shh. And then you just charge forward with a big old pop off those legs. Jab, cross, jab, cross, lead, upper cut. Shh, shh, shh. Think about each hand going out, letting the other one charge up, turning the whole body to get that action coming. Cross comes back, uppercut's coming right out of there, okay? Couple of seconds, guys. Five seconds, and we're gonna hit our first burnout. Jab, cross, jab, cross, up. Jab, cross, jab, cross, up. Feel free to go for speed if you got it in you right now. We're gonna go into a burnout. Uppercuts only, three, two, hit it. Just those uppers, but let's make sure we're using our legs to get the power through those fists, all right? 
We just did all those squats. Use that backside. Use those quads to drive your weapons forward. Hands are tools your body is using. Go as fast as you can without losing that pretty form on those uppercuts. Stick with it, guys. A couple seconds, and then we're going to change our combo a tiny bit. We're going to throw a jab cross and a double jab for your uppercut. Three, two, one, hit it. Jab, cross, jab, jab, up. Jab, cross, jab, jab, up. Now, personally, I like moving on that double jab for your uppercut. So if you got space, take some steps and come forward as you advance with the jab and then take that uppercut nice and easy. You keep your distance, stay away with those straight punches, move in, boom! You get bigger pop on that chin. Your opponent can't take it. Get down with those legs, arch the back, roll into it, and hit that uppercut down the center. Lots of times in classes, I would see people throwing uppercuts out to the side, and it's even easier to do that without a bag in front of you. So make sure you're thinking about where you're aiming. Face, chin on those uppers. Get the button right underneath it. Jab, cross, jab, jab, up, jab, cross, jab, jab, up. And you can advance if you want to. Give me about five more seconds, guys. And we're gonna go back to an uppercut burnout. This time, four for speed, four for power. Three, two, and hit it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom, 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 boom. You know what you're doing, guys. Change it up for me. Make sure the legs are involved on every single strike and you're aiming up high. Rotate in, shoulders back. Push right through that chin. Keep it up, guys. Five seconds. Let's keep throwing those uppercuts. Four, five, four. No monkeys. Three, two, and one. Good job. Speaking of squats, guess what? We're going back to it. This time it's squat pulse. Regular old squat position. Stay low with that backside. Bring it down toward those heels. Pulse it out. Easy peasy. Start to feel that burn. Feel free to shake it off a little bit, but try to get right back to it. High humidity today. Very sweaty. Make sure you're drinking that water. Not just when you're working out either. Been paying attention to my kids. Nobody drinks enough water during the day. Give it a shot. We're on round two. We're gonna start off with a giant lead head hook. So. Hands are in defensive position. Check your stance every once in a while. Big lead head hook cross. We're gonna roll to the rear, throw across. You could add on a couple times. But to get started, nothing too tricky. Hook, cross, roll, cross. Hook, cross, roll, cross. I want you to bring that cross, first one back to that chin. Take your hands with you as you roll. Dodge your opponent's hook and come right back up for a big power cross right down that center line. Hook, cross, roll, cross. Hook, cross, roll, cross. Now, all of you can already tell that every one of those strikes is meant for power. Lead head hook can be a beaut. Make sure you're using those hips. You gotta stay light on your feet. Throw that lead head hook. Let the heel release off the floor. Turn the body into it and turn right over into that big cross. We're gonna roll right out of that cross into our second cross. That roll should generate a little bit of power, a little bit of momentum for a big, strong pop right down that center line. Hook, cross, roll, cross. Hook, cross, roll, cross. Now, I'd rather you think about power here and control on your form. Get that shoulder up, that nice 90 degrees, turning, turning the body, shoot, and using it, then going fast on this one. Thinking about power here, but we're gonna turn it into speed for our burnout in five seconds. So let's see that lead head hook cross, roll to the rear, cross. And then we're going just straight jabs and crosses. Speedy, speedy, speedy. Three, two, and go. Turn it as fast as you can. Don't give up on that form though. Hands are still trying to get out to the same spot. Only one target on your opponent. Go right down that center of that face. Speed jabs and crosses. A couple more seconds. We're gonna go back to our combo and add on, okay? So back to that lead head and cross. Roll to the rear, cross in three, two, one, go. Hook, cross, roll, cross. Hook, cross, roll, cross. We're gonna add a lead head hook, rear head hook. And I want you to add it from those hips. Hook, cross, roll, cross, hook, hook. Hook, cross, roll, cross, hook, hook. Now you can make it an infinite combo if you want to. Those hooks can flow right easy together. Just make sure that form is there. Big old swing into that cross, duck. Get down low, get down fast, use that momentum to charge up those last three strikes, all for power. We're gonna add in a little bit more. After that rear head hook, I want you to jab out, take a big pop, back step back. 
So you're jabbing out with a step, but then you're gonna jab back in, throw another cross, full combo. Lead head hook cross, roll to the rear, cross, lead hook, rear hook, jab out, jab in and cross. Use that body weight, shift out and back to generate more power on that jab and that cross. Stepping with those feet. Couple more seconds on this one, guys. Lead head hook cross, roll to the rear side, cross, lead head hook, rear head hook, jab out, jab in, cross. We're going into burnout, double jab cross in three, two, and hit it. Jab, jab, boom, jab, jab, boom. Snappy on that jab. Big power on that cross. Don't let that cross hang out there though. Bring it right back, get ready to throw. Move if you want to, if you've got the room. Three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. We're gonna go back into squat position, nice and low on that squat hold. This time, taking a, a literal step ahead. We're going out with the legs. Just step and step from that squat hold position. And keep going, guys. Couple seconds. All right, round three. We're gonna start with a reload on that lead side. A lead body shot, lead uppercut, slip to the rear, rear head hook. So again, lead body, lead up, slip, hook. So, lead body shot, quick, snappy, sneaky. Lead body shot goes out to that rib cage. Reload that sucker, get down with those legs for that uppercut. We're gonna slip to that rear, dodge that straight punch. Come back with that rear head hook. Let's go! Lead body shot, lead uppercut, slip to the rear, rear hook. Body, up, slip, hook. Body, up, slip, hook. Nice little combo if you ask me. Make sure you're getting that reload out there. Hands are always coming back to the chin of the cheek. Stay protected. Lead body, lead up, slip, hook. Put a little more speed on it than I just did. And let's get moving. Lead body shot, lead uppercut, slip to that rear side, rear head hook. Then just like a roll, you use that slip to charge up. Not a tip, you know, just a little dodge. Straight punch coming at you. Dodge it, whoosh, throw right off of it. Lead body, reload, lead up, slip, hook. Nice little combo. Keep it up, guys. Couple seconds. We're gonna add on. Lead body shot, lead uppercut, slip to the rear side, rear head hook. Here, add a lead head hook, rear uppercut. You get a lot of motion out of the body using those shoulders, using those hips. Lead body, lead up, slip, hook, hook, up. Ending with a power uppercut. Rear uppercut should be your power uppercut. Let's make sure we're using it, showing it off a little bit. Lead body shot, lead uppercut, slip to the rear, rear head hook, lead head hook, rear uppercut. Up, slip, hook, hook, up. Once you get that slip to that hook, right, that momentum is there. Shift, big old hit, big old hit. That hip turns, shoulder turns. Don't forget to dip and drive up with that uppercut, okay? Body shot, uppercut, slip, hook, hook, up. Big power strikes, and once that uppercut lands, shh, get that hand right back to that chin. Stay defensive, keep moving, guys. Couple seconds, we're gonna add on again. Let's get this combo down. Lead body, lead up, slip, rear, hook, hook, uppercut. Good, now we're gonna add a roll in there, same thing we did in round number two. All right, after that big rear, uh, rear uppercut, I want you to roll to that rear side and give me that power cross again. Full combo, lead body shot, lead uppercut, slip to the rear, hook, hook, uppercut, roll, cross. Same thing you practiced before, roll, cross, gives a lot of power out of it, let's use it. But again, take it back, okay? Lead body, lead up, slip, hook, hook, up, roll, cross. Swell, good, keep it up. Watching my feet get. Make sure when you throw that cross, the hips come with you, the legs come with you, and you're pushing your whole body weight right into those tough knuckles, right off that roll. Keep it up, guys. Couple seconds, and we're gonna burn it out. What we're gonna do is a roll rear, cross, roll lead, lead hook. Ready, go. Roll, cross, roll, hook. Roll, cross, roll, hook. Keep it up, guys, and get that shoulder up. 90 degrees, nice and tough on that lead side. Big old power cross, everything moving forward on that rear side. Keep it up, guys. Just about five seconds till you hear that bell. Roll, cross, roll, hook, roll, cross, roll, hook. Boom, good job, everybody. I like that one, fun stuff. Now, back to squat position. That's the theme of our active rest today. Squat to a calf raise. Similar to how we ended our warm-up. So no need to put that extra jump in there. Unless you're feeling super spicy today, you go for it. But for now, 
Just get those calves flexing, push that blood through that leg, using that calf muscle to do so. Water. And then we are on round four. Now, we're working a little reload in this one as well, and more deep head. Here, we're just going to open our combo with a jab. Snappy jab, not looking for power, just getting that hand out there. Check your distance, maybe. Confused, but strikes are coming at you. Hook. So we're going to jab, roll, lead head hook for your body, lead body. All right, so nice little turn on the hips as we go. Jab, roll, hook, body shot, body shot. Jab, roll, hook, body shot, body shot. All right, let's go. Let's see what you got, guys. Big old jab. Bring it back as you roll into that lead head hook. Lead head hook lands with that momentum, that turnover, that loose toe, shh, turning into those body shots. Quick as you can on those body shots. Possibly my favorite strike. All the strikes are my favorite, however. But body shots rule because you can get speed and power combined. And it is reliant on sort of your relaxed shoulder and just using your body to whip those suckers out there. All right? Like you're swiping at your opponent's rib cage. So, jab, roll, hook, body shot, body shot. Fast and speedy. All right? Fast and speedy. Ha! Fast and hard. Keep it up, guys. Not just fast, but also quick. Keep it up, guys. Couple seconds. Jab, roll to the lead side, lead head, hook, rear body, lead body. We're gonna go into a body shot burnout. Big old flurry. In three, two, and go. Turn the hips, loose on the toes, relax shoulders. Fast as you can, but still thinking about defense, right? Body shot lands, bicep curl that sucker right back up to that chin. Body shot, body shot, body shot, body shot. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. A little bit longer on that burnout. Whoosh. Whoosh. Here's your whooshes. Let's go. Whoosh. Keep it up. We're going to go back to our combo in three, two, and hit it. Jab, roll, lead, lead, head, hook, rear body, lead, body. Jab. Oops, I didn't do it right. Jab, roll, hook, body shot, body shot. We're going to get a little more complicated. After that, uh, lead body, we're going to add a rear body shot, rear uppercut. So you add one more body shot, reload to a big power uppercut. Jab, roll, hook, body, 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 up. All right, so jab, roll, hook, body shot, body shot, body shot, whew, big old uppercut. This time a reload on that rear side, okay? So body shot comes out, rolling it back to that chin, whew. Use those legs to get that power uppercut. Big power rear, once again, keep it up, guys. We're working this combo, about 25 more seconds. Let's make it fun. Jab, roll, hook, body, 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 up. Jab, roll, hook, body, shoot, shoot. Big old bounce, guys. Let's throw them in. Let's get those body shots out there quick. Shoot, 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 shoot. For that reload. Using the legs, using that core. Every part of your body is firing. All those muscles are warm and working together. Keep it up, guys. We're going to go into burnout. Lead body shot, lead head hook. Rear body shot, rear head hook in three, two, and hit it. Lead body, lead head, rear body, rear head. Shh, 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 shh. Here you get a quick little turnover off that lead head hook to the rear body shot, right? No reload on that one. Shh, shh. Transfer that power nice and quick. Lead body shot, lead head hook, rear body shot, rear head hook. Body shot, head hook, body shot. Shh, 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 shh. Keep it up. And bell, woohoo! Good four rounds, guys. Well done. Go ahead and grab a mat for our lovely seven minutes of core. Whew. All right, guys. Core time. We're gonna start off in the V-sit position for a Russian twist. If you have a med ball or an extra weight, feel free to grab it. Otherwise, put those hands together, legs up, V-sit position, and we're just moving our midsections right side to side. Bring the hands down toward the hips. Where we've got that weight going. Do that too. Russian twist, guys. Three, two, back. Here we go. And we're going to stick with this a little bit. A lovely little exercise. Requires you to do it right, though. You know, if you want to need to modify and put the feet down, that's okay. But just make sure that you're moving with those obliques on your side to get your hands or your extra weight to the hip to the hip. Um, you want to make sure that you're not just moving the shoulders and the arms, but bringing the body with it and watching your hands but help you do that. All right, so stick with that Russian twist. A couple more seconds, and we're going right into a hollow hold. Who doesn't love that? We're going down there in three, two, and go. Now, I'm putting my hands under my butt for a little lower back support. You are welcome to do that. Or you can keep your hands overhead. 
whatever is cool for you. Keep your legs up, multi your hands off the ground is cool. Keep a little higher if you want to. We're gonna stay here a couple more seconds. Then we're gonna put our feet down and hit that bridge up in three, two, and one. All right, feet down, and we're just pushing our hips up nice and high. All right, so feet are flat on the ground. Shifting a little bit, and just push. At the top, you squeeze your glutes, release as you go down, push as high as you can, and then even higher, squeezing those glutes every time. We're gonna make it a little bit trickier by bringing our knees together and lifting one leg, and keep working that bridge up. Squeezing the glutes, pushing, try to get as high as you were before. <laughs> it's hard. And keep going. Couple seconds on this side, we're just switching legs. Three, two, and go. Now, I should've said this before, but try to keep the knees together. Opening up the leg gives it a little bit of a cheat. So if your knees are together, you're feeling more pressure on that one glute down at the bottom. All right, stick with this one for me a couple more seconds. And then we're gonna go into a simple crunch in three, two, and go. All right, so your feet are down. We're not going all the way up. Just crunching, getting those Abs to squeeze, engage, and release. Okay, go faster than me if you can. All right, keep going. A little bit on these crunches, and then we'll switch it up. Keep moving. We're gonna go into an oblique crunch in three, two, and one. Now, done this before and told you that it's easy to cheat. It really is, so make sure you're working on this one. You want to get the side to engage, so you really got to reach. Keep your chin tucked into your chest, your shoulders are up, and you're going side to side. Make sure you can feel that burn as you go. If you can't, reach further. Give your head up, make sure your shoulders aren't on the ground. All right, let's make sure we're using that exercise. We're gonna go into a low side plank on the left. I'm gonna do it on the right though, don't judge. But yeah, I want you guys going to your left in three, two, and one, find that form, elbow underneath that shoulder, and then we're going for hip dips. A lovely little thing. Hip dips down towards that mat on just that left side. All right, stick with this one. We're here for about 10 more seconds, and then we'll switch it up, all right? Keep working that hip dip. Ooh, modification option. It's to drop that inside knee if you need to. It stabilizes you a little bit, and you can keep working that up and down action. We're gonna go down into a front plank, low on the elbows, in three, two, and turn yourselves over. This time, make sure your elbows are right underneath those shoulders. And we did dips on the side, we're doing dips on the front. Add that rainbow with your hips. Dropping down as low as you can, side to side. Again, trying to work those obliques. So you really wanna dip, with those hips, all right? So stick with that one a couple seconds. A couple seconds more. And then we're gonna go to our right hand side in a nice low plank for dips on that side as well. In three, two, and one. You are on your right side. Nice form. And we're going for those hip dips. Down and up, down and up. Same as we did on the left. Stick with this one, guys. A couple seconds. And then we're gonna go where are we gonna go? Ooh, high plank. <laughs> I said extra plank, I almost forgot. All right, so a couple more seconds here and we're going up into a high plank in three, two, and one. Here, make sure that those wrists, elbows, and shoulders are nicely lined. Tuck in those butts, guys. What you're gonna do is start those mountain climbers, but just four, and then, can you do it? Can you add four push-ups? Four mountain climbers and four push-ups. Now, you might want to be tempted to change your arms a little bit. Try to keep them the same if you can, so it's fluid and you can drop right down into those push-ups. You can make it a narrow push-up, you can make it a wide push-up, but stick with it. We're gonna be here a little bit. All right, so four mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. That means knees go up four times, and then four lovely little push-ups, okay? So stick with that one. We'll move on shortly. We're gonna go back into a low plank on our left side, in about five seconds. So, one, two, three, four on those mountain climbers, four push-ups for me, guys. How many reps did you get done? You guys are champions. Keep moving. We're going to a left side low plank. Three, two, and one. Now, 
This time we're gonna lift up our leg. We're just gonna tap forward and back, forward and back. Requires a little stabilization. You can modify with that knee down again if you like, it's okay. But if you don't need it, don't take it. Couple seconds here, guys. All right, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. We're gonna switch down into a sprinter sit-up. Rolling ourselves over in three, two, and one. This time we're coming down and reaching up. Make sure you get that twist over to the side as you come up. You're reaching over across your body. Again, engaging those obliques. And I want you to stick with this one, guys, for a couple more seconds. And we're gonna go to our right hand side for that low plank, again, with the, the uh, foot over and back. Three, two, and one. Find that right hand side on that plank and the tap forward and behind. Keep it up, guys. This is how we're ending things. Stay in that right side plank, nice and low on the elbow with the foot tapping, tapping over and back. Again, take that modification if need be. Don't take it if you don't need it. And the best thing to do, if you do typically start or use the modifications, is to start without it, add it in if you need to as you go along. And that's the bell, guys. Whew, man, sweaty Sunday. Humidity is high in this area today. Hope you had a nice time. I did, nice to see you as always. And uh, adios.